Do you see what is happening right before our eyes? Second coming of the Lord. Jesus Christ will govern from old Jerusalem and the new Jerusalem built upon the American continent. In coming days, in coming days, in the coming day, Some permanent commandments have taken considerable time to be generally observed. For example, President Lorenzo Snow's famous sermon on the law of tithing emphasized a commandment given earlier, but not yet generally observed by church members. Travis Langitzel. I grew up in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, born and raised in the Covenant. And I was a faithful attender. And so I have seen much as my family would move around, as I would move around. And one thing that I have noticed which is consistent everywhere I go, is that there are a majority of Mormons who do not know Mormonism well enough to be bold enough to raise their hand in church to answer questions, not just refuse to volunteer to say the prayer, which we all know, when you get asked to say a prayer, it means they hate you. <laughs> Who don't want to give talks because they don't think they know Mormonism. They don't want to bear their testimony because they're not sure they have one. who don't want to participate because they just, they don't know Mormonism. They're too busy with their lives to study the scriptures. So they just sit in class and hear what others have to say. 
And this is common even for conferences. Benson came out in 1986 to the youth of the noble birthright. Every Mormon heard, do not watch R-rated movies. And so Mormons added it to their checklist of sins. Do not watch R-rated movies. Others of us who were top in the class in English grammar would go and watch R-rated movies. would be called apostate, anti-Mormon, anti-Christ, corollaries for it. Too many Mormons are afraid, especially nowadays, because people can record you and post it all over the internet. I've been doing critical church videos because I know how to read and comprehend what I read. And what I read is not what this church says we are. We're Jewish. Judaism is not Christianity. The church claims that we need to gain a testimony of the truth of Joseph Smith in the Book of Mormon as Christian. Therefore, the church is true as Christian. But there are a bunch of conundrums that cannot be explained, that will not be explained. Leaders of the church say, go talk to your state president for disciplinary action. Do not ask questions. And Mormons, to compound the problem, I've been telling you, after all these years, doing videos, over 8K, that Mormons skip conference to go on vacation. And so they miss what was talked about in conference. So when they see my videos for the very first time, and no, I shouldn't use plural. When YouTube recommends one video to them, finally, after all these years, they don't understand what I'm talking about, and therefore it's wrong. It's not faith promoting of Jesus. I think it was last month or so, I did a two hour video explaining the levels of knowledge in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints that was cyber attacked on the camera. Last, yesterday, I was again cyber attacked by Microsoft, this time, while saving a two hour video. And so thus I had to uh, do a makeshift thing and I'm going to have to re-save it. Hopefully the problem's been resolved, but I'm not computer literate. I have been attacked, and I have no idea if the threat is gone. <clears throat> but more
Mormons missed out on this conference. For me, it was the third highest conference attendance for viewing that I've ever had. Third highest. And it was close with number two, but nowhere near number one. We'll do encoded man first. There's one Mormon who has to make things up to be faith promoting for the church. And he thinks he's at a higher level of knowledge than other Mormons because he keeps using encoded messages, encoded messages, encoded messages. <laughs> encoded messages in Elder Bednar's talk. Six signs before second coming. Encoded messages in the prophet's talk. Repent now, Alyssa Grenfell. She's an anti-Mormon, anti-Christ, apostate corridor. Thus repent now. Got it. <laughs> Encoded messages in Elder Oaks's talk. Secret combinations and politics 2024. Oh my god. There was no encoded message. Like I said, it's the levels of knowledge. At the base, you have Mormons who hear Joseph Smith, the Book of Mormon, and the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is Christian. And so when they read the learning of the Jews, 1 Nephi chapter 1, verse 2, oh, Christian. They get to Second Nephi, chapter 29, Bible, a Bible, we have a Bible, we need no more Bible. What thank ye the Jews for the Bible you've received? Oh, the Christian Bible. That's the base level of Mormonism. And if Mormonism, if Mormons are faithful and true to that base level of indoctrination is what it's called where you are demonstrating illiteracy these are the levels of illiteracy and the more illiterate you get where eventually the illiteracy is the truth you are then allowed to be put into positions to be tested at the next level, and then the next level, and then the next level. This person who's hiding their identity, I'm assuming, is utilizing social media to spread their peacock wings. Look at how much better I know Mormonism than the rest of you who are down here. Because this is, this kind of thing is the breaking point. This is going to make or break this person. Just like it was for Chad Daybell. Chad Daybell had a near-death experience saw Jesus and believe that the tetrad in 2014 2015 with the deaths of Perry Packer Scott was a sign from Jesus of his coming and that Chad Daybell is to prepare for the second coming of Jesus Mormon born and raised 
he's there at that level because of the near-death experience. And when Monson came out and condemned him and said, no, this isn't any indication for the second coming whatsoever. We've been telling you generally, we're never going to prophesy, we're never going to give you a day and the hour of when Jesus is coming. You just have to have faith in us. Follow us, obey us. Chad Daybell couldn't hack it. Because for him, that's to go down a level. He had a near-death experience. He saw Jesus face to face as one man speaketh to another. And so Monson is wrong. Monson is a fallen prophet. And so he now elevates himself as God's chosen prophet. And goes off the deep end murdering zombies. Burying them in his backyard. And is now in prison. Gonna have, have the death penalty. Maybe. Better. So this is where this guy is. Assuming it's a guy. Women typically are better with artistic stuff because of their practice in Relief Society. <laughs> Again, decades in this church. I know the jokes. <laughs> and so, the thumbnail picture for Nelson only covers the second coming. But he's gone off the deep end. I'm assuming it's a guy. Like I said, it could be a female because of the pretty pictures. Of AI. Because... <sighs> won't get into it. <clears throat> For him to be... I'm assuming it's a guy because repent now Alyssa Grenfell. He's got the hots for Alyssa. And I don't blame her. She's cute. <laughs> and he's wanting her to change so that his fantasy about her... And you need to understand I'm old enough to know societal changes as well. Not just the technological changes from the 8-track tape, well, records, 8-track tapes, cassettes, CDs, and now the digital and streaming changes. <clears throat> but when I was a kid, I, it was a crush. Who do you have a... Who do you like? What is the woman that you like? And then... It became a fantasy. And then a fetish. <clears throat> and then... Uh, a, uh, there was something before identity. I can't remember what it is offhand. I'm not referencing anything, it, it came to mind, dissociative memory. <clears throat> so yeah, now it's an identity. But, I mean, dear God. <laughs> but this is his thinking as a Mormon. And it's a very dangerous one. This person is very dangerous. And he's getting in the tens of thousands of views. As I witness. Because he's talking about encoded messages that nobody else knows but he himself. And he's calling ex phone nevermos to repentance, to conform and comply to his interpretation of Mormonism because of his encoded messaging. Yeah, like I said. 
Chad Dayball. Right there. This is it. And he is not listening to the words of conference. He's hearing what he wants to hear. Just like people did with Benson concerning our rated movies. So that after he said it, everybody was thinking R-rated movies. Oh no, this particular R-rated movie is coming out this year. Should we do that? We're only at 18 minutes into the video. Which was where I got cyber attacked on my saved video yesterday. So, Top Gun, Karate Kid Part 2, Back to School, um, that was with uh, the NCIS guy, Mark Harmon, wasn't it? It's not letting me know. Aliens, I'm sure that was R-rated. Ferris, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, you know, teaching kids to be naughty in school. <laughs> Ruthless people. Legal Eagles, <gasps> Cobra, Poltergeist 2, Short Circuit, Running Scared, About Last Night, Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives, Great Mouse Detective, Heartburn, The Fly, Nothing in Common, Jojo Tancer, Raw Deal, Flight of the Navigator, Howard the Duck, Psycho 3, They went off track on that one. I was impressed with number two, because in number two, they were turning it away from Norman being guilty. And, you know, everybody, you know, didn't like it because, you know, they're tampering with Alfred Hitchcock. You don't mess with an original. <laughs> I can do a whole video on Psycho. It is awesome. But they were trying to blame the sister of Mommy. Who was trying to frame Norman. And that would have worked in perfectly, except for three, then went away from it. And the final one, oh dear God. Yep, you ruined the Alfred Hitchcock suspense. Of the, the uncertainty of, did he do it? Or is he being framed and gaslit? so that he thinks he might be the guy, but he really isn't because of the gaslighting that's being done to him. That would have been brilliant. But, anyway. Sweet Liberty, Labyrinth. Oh, so crushing on Jennifer Connelly. Club Paradise, but I caught on as a kid. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Armed and dangerous. <laughs> Money Pit, One Crazy Summer, Big Trouble in Little China, Stand By Me, Under the Cherry Moon, Space Camp, Manhunter, Haunted Honeymoon, Maximum Overdrive, Critters, She's Gotta Have It, Gotta Have What? Blue City, Police Academy 3, Back in Training, Legend, 
Tom Cruise. Pretty in pink. Hold on a minute. Okay, different movie. A fine mess. My Little Pony. Oh, that not that porn? Gungo. And her song in that is only in the movie. You can't get it on CD or on YouTube. It's gone, other than the clip from the movie of the song. I just, oh my god, what are you doing? It's a brilliant song. Extremities, Transformers, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Out of Bounds, Vamp. Dear God, there was a whole bunch of movies. We're nearing the end. <laughs> uh, Out of Bounds, Vamp, Invaders from Mars, American Anthem, Fire with Fire, Hannah and Her Sisters, No Retreat, No Surrender, Wise Guys, the Manhattan Project, Down and Out in Beverly Hills, Murphy's Choice, Dangerously Close, The Color of Purple. Uh, that was the award winner, wasn't it? No, not... Steven Spielberg. Yeah, no wonder. Uh, let's see. It also was let's see. Nominated for eleven Academy Awards. Didn't win anything. Hmm. I uh, received four Golden Globe nominations, with only winning Best Actress for Whoopi. Uh, 2006, the American Film Institute ranked it 51st on its list of most inspiring. PG-13. See, that, because of what Benson did, Mormons then began to say, hey, let's expand it to other ratings. Violets are blue. Then, oh, don't even get me started on Canada. Oh, Canada. They have a different rating system. Turtle Diary, At Close Range, Three Men in a Cradle. I, I know Three Men and a Baby, Three Men and a Little Lady. Was there a third one? Huh. There was. With no name actors. <laughs> no wonder I didn't hear about it. <laughs> Jake Speed, Pirates, Born American, Bullies, Night of the Creeps, Shanghai Surprise, Shanghai! Desert Bloom, The Boy Who Could Fly. Oh, I had such a crush on that girl, too. Touch and Go, Mona Lisa. <clears throat> what is her name? Lucy Deacons?
She was born in New York City, daughter of Alice, a professor at Columbia University, and Roger, a professor at New York University. She graduated. <laughs> she didn't have much of a career. She did The Boy Who Could Fly, that was her first movie. And then she did Little Nikita. Ooh, I like that. The Great Outdoors, Cheetah, There Goes My Baby. As the World Turns, for just one year. Uh, ABC After School Special. She was Becky Noonan who stood up. She was on Law and Order, but everybody was. <laughs> A mother's Gift, and again on Law and Order, some uh, nine years later, as a recasted character. So, yeah, that's it. She must have chosen to have uh, life as a uh, uh, she's fifty-two. Hmm, she's younger than I am. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. So in 86, wait a minute. Seriously? You were that young. You were jail bait. Hmm. Huh. I was jail bait too. Well, that was fun memory lane. But Nelson was about telling you that Jesus is coming to coup the government. <laughs> and whoever this person is missed it. All Mormons missed it. See, for him, he doesn't comprehend the concept of the second coming as defined by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints who are all illiterate because they don't see Jews because he's now saying Jesus is coming you better repent or you're gonna die because he's coming to murder the wicked Mormons catch that part, but they don't get it. See, they're not old enough to remember McConkie saying, yeah, there's no guarantee Mormons are going to survive this second coming. <laughs> but you better pay your tithing, nonetheless. <laughs> and you don't see that as an extortion threat. This is how the church gets you up the ladder of illiteracy. How much of a sucker and a loser are you? And then finally, you get rewarded as a prophet to sucker and loser other Mormons. That's the transition. That was the big thing of Nelson's talk. You know, with Oaks, oh dear God, he missed it. And I got a comment from my video that was my number one video for this conference <clears throat> in which I got a denialism comment from a Mormon and claiming that the Wikipedia article on it is fake news Then Bednar came out the other week in the church news to reaffirm that denialist comment. <laughs> Concerning how do I discern between truth and error in a day of political chaos on the internet? Now, Oaks's big thing which even ex Mon Lex, she's too young. She's just too young. She's just a little girl. Just like the girl who could fly. 
Help. Such a crush. But, uh, yeah, Hexmo Lex was all about some other thing that he had talked about saying that he that Mormons should leave ex foes alone and so she did her video on I finally agree with Oaks. He told Mormons to leave me alone. <laughs> no. You missed it. Because you don't know Mormonism. Nobody knows Mormonism. Like I said, they're illiterate. They're easily conned even when they leave the church. If they're unable to go to the next level of illiteracy because of something they heard that doesn't sit right with them because social media told them it's not supposed to sit right with them, they leave the church. You know, just like Expo, or just like Exmo Lex and others who leave the church. Alyssa, she left. She served the mission. X small Lex didn't serve a mission. And so <clears throat> those who are critical of the church are depending on when they left is where you see the level of brainwashing that's still the baggage that they carry with them. So they're just critical about what they were offended with and left at whatever level it was. Even if it's they were at the lower level and got sexually abused by a bishop and left. They don't know Mormonism. All they know is they got sexually abused then they go to social media and hear of all the accusations that Joseph Smith was a child predator and it triggers the post-traumatic stress of the bishop raping them. And so they, she then projects it onto Joseph Smith as if it's true. And there are lots of women in this church who do that. Oaks revised history. Revisionist history is the worst form of hatred and authoritarian abuse that can be done. Roman Emperor Constantine did it with the creation of Christianity. And that first creed that Joseph Smith called an abomination. And yet, Mormons, regardless of what level you're on, you all believe Constantine's lie. Because the prophets pulled a little fast one on you and only changed the nature and character of Jesus. Everything else in that creed, Mormons are supposed to believe. You're supposed to turn the Book of Mormon and Joseph Smith into literal history. Are now Christian, not Jewish. That's exactly what the creed did to the Jewish scriptures. And thus they're in a chronological order of literal history. So Oaks did it with Lorenzo Snow's BYU movie. That did not happen. Star Wars isn't real. Battlestar Galactica isn't real. Star Trek isn't real. Sliders isn't real. None of it is real. The movies and the TV shows, not real. They have a script writer. Sometimes it's from somebody who's published a fiction book. Not real. And yet, when you turn fiction, or in the case of the Jews, when you turn prophecy into literal histories, it becomes abominable. 
because you're not only deceiving the world, you're also erasing the intent of the author. The author is now wrong. You're now claiming you're right about the author. And thus, Chad Daybell and this guy, whoever he is, who's got a crush on Alyssa. I've seen too many Mormons go to very attractive ex-foes and never-mos with this intent. If only she could change and convert to the church, we would be so happy. <laughs> what does that say about you, Mormon girls? And yeah, you do it to the Mormon boys by going after the ex phone never knows. <laughs> what is this? Mormons don't like each other, so they find others? <laughs> Does this have some... I can understand women because there's this bad boy desire in them. And then after they do the bad boy, then they're regretting it. Why do I always fall for the bad boys? Yeah, get away from me. <laughs> I was right here, I was available, and you passed me up, and now you're rubbing my face on it. Pulling out my heart, shoving it in a blender, frappeing it on high. And so for this guy not to even understand that that BYU production was not real and that there was even research into it to try to prove it's real and then went, oops. <laughs> it's worse than the promotion of uh, George Albert Smith's version of Thomas B. Marsh in his wife's honor, which both Hinckley and Monson polled at the pulpit of conference. <clears throat> and so we're going to finish with the best. Mormons went utterly berserk recently. 17, which is probably now 18 hours ago. <sighs> Somebody who's anticipating Christ's return said, Christ will return. President Nelson's urgent message. Get ready for the second coming. And then 13 days ago, they're now doing, in a coming day, Jesus will return. President Nelson's urgency. Getting a lot of attention. Yes, indeed. I don't know how many uh, Expo Never Mo guys are following her, hoping to convert her to the dark side. Then they can live happily ever after. You guys, never watch my videos. I've given you the direct clip. <laughs> that was the big thing, and yet it was Oaks. And so, yes, just, we're now going to see Nelson's timeline of things. Because I'm the one who pointed out to you that in Nelson's solemn assembly talk he says in the coming days jesus is coming for the second coming and two years later we have the election that oaks says was just a test run for the second coming of jesus christ w what nelson says we don't know the day and the hour of jesus is coming but it's in the coming days plural and oaks got leaked by a little sister missionary who recorded him, naughty girl, 
and a Mormon who has a crush on her. In the video that YouTube recommended to me. So I found out about it this year. And so when you understand what the second coming is, that it's not just a murder of wicked, but it's also a government coup. As I've been covering all these years in the 8K plus videos, you see that Oaks is confessing that they're the enemy. That they have been indoctrinated in the illiteracy to the point where the illiteracy is now true and they are now indoctrinating those below them. And at that point, in order to be a true prophet, you've got to cause it. Similar to a self-fulfilling prophecy. And sure enough, Oaks confess that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is responsible for everything that's going on for the sake of cooing the government and murdering people. And they're blaming it on Jesus. Saying it's his second coming. Because they're in a dilemma. Christians can just say, Jesus is working through me. Church can't do that. Church has come out and claimed by turning Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon into literal history that now Jesus has a body of flesh and bone as tangible as man's. So he appears and speaks directly, similar to Chad Daybell in his near-death experience. All Mormons believe it at the lower level. The one guy it's encoded messaging. <laughs> and only he knows. Follow him. <laughs> He'll lead you into the truth of Mormonism. <sighs> Joe Ash. Ninth Gate with Johnny Depp. It shows the Luciferian equivalent. It's the same thing. <laughs> with Lucifer instead of Jesus. And the two Mormon boys did not understand it in the theater. I understood it as a teenager. Or actually, no, I wasn't a teenager. I was here in Utah. Yeah, that's right. It was in the 2000s. Because, yeah, I was single. would have been the other singles word. Nineteen ninety nine? Oh. Yeah. Okay. So no, I'm still in the younger singles ward. Mm-hmm. Uh, deciphered Paleo Hebrew script two years previous. And so when Nelson would then come out in 2022, October conference, and repeat it again in a different way, but still the same concept, Jesus Christ is coming in the coming days. In this context of Jesus coming to coup government, we see that days means two years. For the election of the president. Because <sighs> that's what Oaks confessed to. We are going to coup the government this year. It's a test run. We're going to see how we can do. And they almost assassinated Mitt Romney in the process of this test run. And so then, here we are for 2024. And this time, to reinforce it for Mormons, Nelson comes out and says, in a coming day. And one person used chat GPT
as her source of truth <laughs> to understand the difference between days and day. <laughs> and then was told to go kill herself. <laughs> I just heard in the news last week about another teenage boy that used an AI program that told him to kill himself and he killed himself. And our government is not shutting this thing down. AI is evil. It is not an intelligence. I ran the test for you guys concerning Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon is Jewish. AI can't be intelligent enough to figure it out. You're supposed to run the test on words to identify false or true prophets. People who speak the truth or lie to you. And nobody's getting it. Not just in the church, but in for this election. Oh no, there's so much misinformation and disinformation, nobody can know what's true. Have you tried reading the Constitution of the United States of America? Oh, you know, just like for Mormons, have you tried reading Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon? When you find something of Joseph Smith that contradicts the Book of Mormon, guess what? It's a forged document of Brigham Young's. Real simple. When you get a presidential candidate or a senator or Kellyanne Conway on Fox News, Speaking something, have you checked with the Constitution? Fox News says people trying to immigrate into America as a national security threat. Two million under Biden. Whose responsibility is it in the Constitution? for the regulation of immigration. Congress. Congress is MAGA controlled. They don't want to do their job. So they're creating a problem so that it's a national security threat so that the president now does it. But Biden's not MAGA. Do you see what they're doing? I see blatantly obvious. But these are distractions from what the church confessed that they are in control over. Everybody misses it. We're all gonna die. So we'll see if this video will work and then we'll see about getting that other video working. We'll go from here.